Step in the box, baseball fans. Welcome back to another episode. We've got one final hobby box of 2022 Top Series 2. My run of Series 2 is coming to an end as of now. Last box. Thanks for stepping in the box. Let's see if we can pull something. Saw Michael, Tony, Mitchell come in. Mitchell says he pulled an SSP out of a hanger. Which one, Mitchell? Here we go. Let's see if we can hit one last nuke. Out of a hobby box. Hope you're having a good Friday night. And I'm going to go on a little rant here. I have um, DirecTV. I have one of the biggest packages you can get with HBO. I don't know. I pay like 90 bucks a month because I get a bunch of discounts. And I go to try to turn on the Cubs. No Cubs. Not on marquee. Nothing. And then MLB wonders why you cannot, why people are not watching baseball. It's ridiculous. It's on Apple TV. I don't have Apple TV. I looked, there's zero baseball games on live on a Friday night. It's embarrassing for baseball. What about you guys? I don't buy ML TV. I already pay enough for regular cable. So there's my rant for tonight. And we're starting off with a bad do. What's going on? Sorry for the negativity, but that really annoys me when you want to watch some uh, when you want to watch some baseball and you actually pay for cable and can't get the marquee channel. Well, yeah, I have the marquee channel, but I can't watch it because the game's not even on cable. It's on Apple TV. And then my second rant. I'm going to pull this up. Sorry, I'm at, uh, Apple TV is free. I had no idea. My second rant is. Again, I refuse to uh, support the Cubs right now. Cost for a family of four to go to a baseball game. This is the cost of four tickets, four hot dogs, two beers, two sodas, and parking. This is this year's data. The Red Sox are number one. 325 bucks basically, to go see a game. And then the guess who's number two? The Chicago Cubs with their trash bag product that they put on the field. And number three is the Yankees. I'm actually surprised number four is the Houston Astros. And then leading out the top five are the Nationals ahead of the Dodgers. Who would have thought the Dodgers would co cost less to go to games? You ain't catching up. White Sox, Tom says Apple TV is free. They're 25 through 4.2. Sox game on Apple TV. I'll have to check it out. I didn't know that was free. It's my ignorance. But, I mean, dude... Um, what do we got here? I think we have a relic. Hopefully it's an auto. Kirby Puckett. That's a relic. That's a cool one out of 199. If you're gonna get a relic, that's a neat one. Game used bat, maybe. Is that game used? Is not from any specific game, event, or season. It's another thing. Uh my next rant. I'm on a rant tonight. What's up, Joseph? National Treasures Basketball, a 4000 to $5,000 box of basketball cards with, what, eight, eight cards in it? They aren't even game-worn patches. RPAs are not even game-worn patches anymore. They're not even worn by the player, according to the back of the card. Check it out. Luke Voigt, Rainbow Foil, and Alex Reyes. So I'm on a little rant, a hobby rant, and a sports rant. Let's see here. Kaboom, Joseph. My mom and dad came in the house. That was <laughs> questionable, Dookie said. Yankees called for next week, section one. Not cheap at all, Alex. So things are getting weird out of there, man. But getting back to my cubbies, I refuse to spend money on a crap product. Here is a, out of 76, Austin Hayes, Independence Day Parallel. Nice. So Independence Day Parallel, we're hoping to pull a rookie in that. That jumped all over it. Bishop is in the box. But there's a couple nice hits out of the gate. Kirby Puckett. Guys, you can get hobby boxes for 80 bucks. I bet you if you go to your ho hobby shop, you might be able to get it down to like 70, 75 if you work some magic. 
<laughs> What's up, DT? I usually try to keep it positive, but I'm just super annoyed that I can't even watch any baseball on cable. Just ridiculous. Chris Bassett, Corey Seager. But I have some uh, plant, Platinum Anniversary Edition. Hangers are better. Yeah, I think so too, White Sox Tom. If I could go back, I would have not bought these four um, hobby boxes and gotten more hangers. There's an Otani. I've been sleeping every one of these Otanis. Probably sell them for a buck at a show. SGC's big announcement being they will start doing RCR at the National. That's interesting. Trading cards is more here. I have nothing against SGC. I just would rather um, submit to... There's O'Neal Cruz. I would rather submit to um, PSA. National Sports Card Show coming up. I wish I was going, but it just didn't make sense. Yeah, Flesh. I have not seen any uh, Series 2 hangers on the shelves anywhere. Luis Gill, rookie. Again, if you suck on the could, hit that thumbs up. Gallo just went yard. Yeah, he's been pretty bad. Hey, Brett, only do live a couple hours away, or only live a couple hours away from Atlanta. Always blacked out. That is a bummer. I remember being home watching the Braves in the summer. Dale Murphy, you know, as a Cubs fan, at least turn on some baseball or if they were on during the day, those days are over. And then they wonder, they wonder why people aren't watching baseball games and the, the viewership is down. How's everybody's Friday night going? Tracker's overeating here, some crunching much. We went to the vet the other day. He's doing okay. They gave him some pills. They they wanted some uh, samples on him. Had some weird kidney levels. He's getting old, man. Mitchell says good. Saw a video guy pulling a Julio SP out of a blister pack. Yeah, supposedly those blister packs have been fire from Walmart and Target. The ones with two packs in them. I haven't even seen any. Mitchell says, I'll take your Strider rookie cards if you want them. I usually don't sell any of my uh, rookie cards until I feel like the time is right. And there is Sweet Shades. I've been sleeving all these Sweet Shades. I really like this set. So far, we've had a couple hits. O'Neill Cruz, Sweet Shades. Still tempted to open up some of this uh, mosaic football that I got. I don't think I'm going to open up any more of that uh, prism football. Going to do a video next weekend of uh, a PSA order. I think we got a hit here. Ryan Sandberg, that'll go to... Uh, Little short print. That will go to my Cubbies PC. Nice. Rhino for the Cubbies. So, again, short print. I think we've got a short print in every box. I like that one. Goes in my PC. If you're new here, I'm a Cubs fan, and uh, I PC Cubs stuff. So, that goes in my Cubbies pile. This one breaker, this one breaker, he is a Giants fan. And he never sells the Giants in his breaks, whether they're pick your team or random. He's been doing this for like six or seven years now. Imagine your PC after six years of being a baseball breaker, of getting the Giants in every single break. It's incredible. I love stories like that. Alex says, his one blister from Series 1 had a Harper home field advantage. That's a nice blister pack. Series 2 flagship coming to an end. Man, it feels so good to be able to get a box of cards for 80 bucks. This is what I paid for this one, $80. Let's 
getting back to the old days of the $70 hobby boxes for flagship. Used to be able to get a case of jumbos for $600. Sometimes cheaper, depending on the product. Looks like we got, what do we got here? It's kind of sticky. Don't think we have this one. Tom Seaver. Don't think we have that. I've been kind of keeping tabs on the uh, No Hit Club. Can't wait for Chrome, Alex says. I know I'm, I, like I said, I'm disappointed I'm not going to the national. However, I'm looking forward to the coverage. YouTube is going to be blowing up starting next Wednesday. The national's kicking off. I got a couple buddies that are going to be there. I was half tempted to give somebody my uh, login to YouTube. Christian yes, Yelich, Home Run Challenge Club. How many hangers equal, equals a hobby box? What's up, Jake Boyce? Um... The ones from BJ's were 12 bucks a piece, so seven hangers equal to Hobby Box. Got a few more packs here, and then the Silver Pack Mojos. We got three decent hits. Had that Relic. Had an Independence Day, Priscani. Ken Griffey Jr., that's a cool one. I'll sleeve that one, too. For the Griffey Power Collectors. Not at all, White Sox, Tom. I won't be buying any more unopened product. Easier just to buy a card. Yeah, Mark, that's a good play. Good old Friday night. Um, holy cow, that is amazing. Kaboom! I know he was sent down, but I was not expecting that. Holy crap, Ola. Hello. Wow. Kaboom. 65, base short print. We're going out on a last box. Kaboom. That was well worth the box. Again, I know he was sent down, but wow. Hello. Woo I don't know what his prices are, but he's going to be back. He's going to get a second chance, may even third chance. Kaboom. Two, dude. Unreal. I mean, $80 hobby boxes, guys. Two short prints. This has been a good product. This has been a good, good product, guys. Let me uh, put these on here. Again, I think that's Stan worthy. Hello. Torque. Whoo, man, that jumped off. I was like, man, we're not getting another short print. Two short prints in a hobby box. Unreal. Kaboom. You guys serious? You know, again, I'm not sitting here advocating you go blow and spend money that you don't have. Don't put yourself broke. But, I mean, $75 for a hobby box to have a chance to pull some short prints, get some base. Unreal, man. Hobby for seven hangers. I tell you what, Joseph, if I can get a hobby box for 70 to 75 bucks, even 80 I think I'm going... For a hobby box, but uh oh, we got some. Uh, haven't had one of those in in a while. Nothing like some. Nothing like some. You know you've made it big when the spam hits you. <laughs> uh, there we go. All right. Not sure what else we have here. We still got a few packs to go. We got an Independence Day parallel, too. I don't know what this is. This is a numbered card. A kid, this is a black out of $2.99. So we got another numbered card. <laughs> uh, I 
appreciate all those thumbs up, guys. All the support. Makes it so fun hanging out with you guys. Anthony says he sold his Altuve Tops for Scene card right before the stream. Good for you, man. Keep the wheels turning, man. Sometimes you got to sell to be able to buy. Sometimes you got to let some stuff go you don't want to to be able to to be able to keep keep turning and burning. Yastrzemski. And we're down to the last pack of the regular. Last pack mojo. And then we'll get to the mojos. Pretty good box, guys. Again, it's perfect timing. That's why I wanted to get all this stuff open. I'm going to send that to PSA. I'm probably going to do the $18 grading, too, because I'm not in a hurry to get it back. We got a... Um, Green Ice Ice Baby coming, so another numbered card. Alec Mills, another one for the PC. Got a couple cards, although Mills is trash bags in my opinion. Cubs need some pitching. There's a reason they drafted all these pitchers. And I don't know, that one feels thick like last night too. Are we going to have back-to-back -back jacks on number cards? Last pack mojos of the silver pack mojos. SSP Joe, man, thanks for coming in. Thanks for stepping in the box, dude. This is the Mojo Pack. Does not look like we have a hit. Aaron Nola. Bluegrass, I did not open a jumbo, just base uh, hobbies. You Darvish, Stanton, and Mike Piazza. That was a trash bag Mojo Pack. No rookies. And no, I mean, some decent stars, but nothing nothing I'm looking for. But here we go. We got the, one of the reasons I like the hangers. You get way more inserts. But I had a couple cards that I put to the side that I usually sleeve. And then here's the notable. The Mills Ice Ice Baby Green out of $4.99. Uh, Bad Do, I think that's a black out of $2.99. Yelich home run. Yelich sweet shades. Man, they're back. What the heck? Unreal. They are back in action tonight. For the short print, Cubbies, Kirby Puckett. And we had an Independence Day parallel. What a box. We had an O'Neill Cruz, one base. And then we hit it with the big boy, Spencer Torkelson. In my opinion, this card is looking tasty. Corners are looking tasty. Centering doesn't look too bad. Maybe a tad bigger, but it's if it's 60-40. This card's looking tasty. I'll probably send that to PSA no matter what for 18 bucks. But I appreciate you stepping in the box. Probably the last, the last hobby box that I'll open of Series 2. Thanks again for being around. Until next time, peace.